Hello again, moving forward with our second part regarding the forward guidance principle. And on the first part, we, we discussed a bit uh, what the elements of the forward guidance principle are, how to be addressed, how to be identified, and we even went to the economic calendar. Now, I would like to use this opportunity to take a look at two of the most important central banks in the world, and we're talking about the Federal Reserve of the United States, or basically the Fed, the Fed in the US, and this will be the Fed in the US, and the ECB in Europe, ECB or the European Central Bank. What do we want to know uh, from the Federal Reserve of the United States? Well, the Fed, it is having the FOMC, the FOMC state meeting and statement every let me put it like this, every six weeks. So let's say that this is the FOMC statement that starts here, FOMC statement. Then you have another FOMC statement, then another FOMC statement, then another FOMC statement, then another one in here. Now this, or the distance between the FOMC states, statements, represent, it is, it is represented by six weeks. So six weeks, then six weeks, and then six weeks, and six weeks. This makes the case for in these six weeks or in between two FOMC statements every two or three but mostly two sessions you will have a press conference so not this one but this one in here after the FOMC statement we will have a press conference. During the press conference during the press conference in here in here as well during the press conference the the chairwoman of the Federal Reserve of the United States, in our case, Ms. Yellen, is going to uh, read the FOMC statement and then will take questions from the audience, from press representatives from around the world. And this results in great volatility on all markets, not only equity markets, but also currencies, um, um, everything that is, uh, that is traded, bonds and so on. So, with or on the press conference, you will also see economic projections or stuff forecast projections that represents forward guidance. How the members of the FOMC are seeing the interest rate one year from now, two years from now, six months from now. This represents forward guidance in order that the market should not be taken by surprise. In between, in between the FOMC statements, you will have at every three weeks you will have the FOMC minutes are being called. Now these minutes are referring of course to the meeting that was prior to the release of the meeting of, of the minutes. So basically this one here are referring to the one from here. So every three weeks these are the minutes. The minutes are showing what these guys, what the Fed members, the FOMC members discussed at the prior meeting in reality and this brings again a lot of volatility in between in between each and every FOMC statement you will have a lot of Fed members giving speeches so when uh, when a monetary policy it is not transmitted the way it should be or it, not, uh, it is not understood by markets the way that uh, it was supposed to be uh, understood then this these members uh, are coming with a speech and saying that well, is not that bullish, is not that is not that hawkish, is not that dovish, and the market will react initially. So look at the speeches all over the place. Also look for testimonies that the chairwoman is holding in front of the Senate, in front of the economic the economic commission in uh, in the United States, as those are being part of forward guidance as well in Europe will have the ECB each and every one and a half, one and a half uh, uh, months as well. It used to be on a monthly basis, but not anymore. And the press conference in Europe is follow each and every, each and every interest rate decision, 45 minutes later. So it doesn't really matter what the actual interest rate decision is. It, is mat it matters what the um, what the president of the ECB, in our case, Mr. Draghi, is going to discuss at the press conference because they may cut rates, but it, if on the, on the press conference the guy comes and says, well, we cut the rates, but we don't want to cut them anymore for five years from now, then the euro will bounce high. Uh, in Europe, we also have minutes lately, but they are not that important. I mean, so far, 
market didn't really move when minutes were released. You also have uh, speeches when the president of the ECB testifies in front of the European Parliament. As you can see, we are copycatting the, um, the, um, the Federal Reserve in organization and so on. But all in all, I would say in Europe, the press conference is the way to look at the forward guidance. In the United States, it's a bit more complex. Both projections, staff projections, values, um, members' dots, uh, FOMC statement minutes and so on. This, ladies and gentlemen, is forward guidance and this is what moves markets. Thank you for being here and bye-bye.